Hello everyone. In this recording, we're going to go over uh, how to prep our Maya file and also how to, to attach textures and also export as an FBX. Uh, this is kind of key to getting it into Substance and we'll go over that, how to import it over and how to attach our first materials uh, to everything. All right, so what we want to do is kind of look over uh, uh, our models. So I'm just going to select uh, one at a time and you can see all this history on here this is all my cutting that i've done in the past so what we want to do is edit uh, delete by type history g and you can see all that uh, data is gone so if you were uh, uh, taking this into a game engine all this uh, kind of weight and garbage uh, goes along with it so we don't want that so uh, hit d so I'm basically I'm just hitting a uh, not D G is uh, deleting the history so it remembers uh, that last tool so uh, hit G all right so everything is nice and clean uh, and now I'm going to go into uh, naming uh, these so right now I'm going to name them and then I'm going to put texture on it it's probably the easiest so select that and we've got a P cylinder I'm going to call this a uh, drain. Uh, underscore can't do spaces in Maya, so underscore uh, pipe. Okay, and we'll just double click that and make sure it's called drain pipe. And I don't know why it's calling it underscore uh, one. Let's see if I can hit this return. Well, it's going to add one on there. Don't ask me why. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go to uh, from modeling to rendering. This will give you these tabs up here. So we're gonna go assign new material. And I'm just gonna add a Lambert, it's pretty easy. And we got our drain pipe one, drain pipe uh, layer, and then a Lambert. And so we're, this is our Lambert two. So we're gonna call it drain and then pipe. And this is what it's gonna show up in uh, substance. This is the, the naming of that material. That's really what it uh, cares about. So we're going to hit enter. Don't know why it's adding a two to it. All right. So now we're going to go to uh, the dumpster. And I think the dumpster is that. So I'm just going to go to the main uh, number, hit enter. So everything is dumpster now. And Lambert is default, everything in the scene is Lambert one. So we don't want that. So we always make sure we put a new material on it. Also, we don't want to name it so it doesn't uh, do anything weird. All right, so we're gonna do Lambert. And I'm gonna just call this dumpster and maybe underscore base. So we know I hit enter. Now it doesn't do a one of them, that's so weird. All right, so select this. And just double check, drain pipe. And we have a dumpster base for our Lambert. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same with the bar. All right, so we're gonna to go to, uh, I think we have named it, display layer, transform, shape. I'm just gonna call it bar, enter. And again, it's Lambert one. We don't want that. We've got it selected. And so we're going to add another texture, assign new material, Lambert. And it should be like Lambert four. And we're going to call it bar. I'm going to hit enter. All right, we're almost done. So we've got uh, a cube here. We have, where it says lid two, that is where we had it in our channel. But we're going to go ahead and call this uh, lid to, and it does get confusing. Uh, may, might as well put right on there too, underscore R-I-G-H-T. Uh, it does get confusing. I'll hit enter or return. Uh, make sure you don't have that bar selected. Okay, lid to and right. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give that same name for our texture, assign new material, Lambert. Okay, lid underscore two, and then 
right? And then underscore texture, right? I know it's a lot of information, but this will be helpful. Uh, I was having a hard with left and right on this one. So this one is our pasted cube. Yeah, we're gonna call this lid underscore one left, okay? So we did just kind of make a, a distinction between the two. All right, again, lighting and shading. Assign new material, Lambert, and lid, underscore, uh, I think it was one, I am already, for, already forgot, and then left. And I'm not gonna call it underscore texture. Hit return, all right? So just, just go through, I don't know why it's doing multiple selections, but uh, anyways, just make sure you have uh, a name and a texture on everything. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and do a, a marquee. Select everything, make sure everything's selected. For some reason, uh, I've got multi-mode on. I don't know how to turn that off. Could be, I have no idea. Oh, right, anyways, so make sure you have everything selected and we're gonna show uh, Windows if you don't have an FBX feature, you're gonna to go to Windows, Setting and Preferences, Plugin Manager. I'm gonna hold it there for a second because you're gonna be going like, I don't have the FBX feature. So it is here, Windows, Setting, Preferences, and Plugin Manager. All right, so we're gonna just kind of scroll down. I think it's near the bottom, but you're gonna make sure uh, the Maya plugin for FBX. So you have see all the other things that are turned on. And it may be already built in now where you don't have to turn this on. So now it's making me look like a fool. Uh, used to be a feature that you had to turn on and was not. All right, there it is. Whew. All right, so Maya uh, FBX uh, dot bundle. Make sure it's loaded in auto load, okay? So it may be unchecked, and if it's unchecked, you won't have that feature when you export out. Okay, so this is so key, okay? So head, go ahead and hit close. And I'm gonna export out uh, selection and dialog box. And right here, just make sure FBX is on. And if those check, if you didn't check that off and the preferences, it won't work. So I'm gonna export selection and I'm gonna tell it to go to uh, my desktop and I'm just gonna call it dumpster. We should probably put it in my dumpster folder, but I'm being quite lazy. All right, uh, don't think you need to hit anything here. Just go ahead and hit export selection. Again, make sure this is uh, file top is FBX, export selection. Just make sure you've deleted history, freeze transformation, everything is UV mapped, and then also every one of these forms has its own texture. All right, so we're gonna go into uh, Substance Painter. I'm just gonna show you really briefly some of the features here. Uh, you may have a whole bunch of dialog boxes open. Uh, this is uh, helpful when you have uh, multi-monitors, you can tear these uh, sleeves off and put them on to the second monitor. But I'm doing everything on one monitor. Uh, I don't have uh, a second monitor or room to have one. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit new. We're gonna do a new scene. And we're gonna hit the PBR material roughness algorithm. There are other things you can do, alpha blend and stuff like that, but we're gonna start with the metallic uh, roughness uh, one. We're good to go. So we did set everything else uh, before in Maya to 2K, so we're gonna do 2048. Uh, go ahead and correct, keep this at direct X. Everything uh, is the same. We're not doing any uh, crazy UV tile workflow yet. Um, I think this was on, I turned that on, off. I don't know what that means, so we'll just keep it off. And we're gonna select our uh, file and it's the dumpster, I think is what I call it. And I've been doing test one and two earlier. And I did an object, so do that and do object, you want FBX. So we're gonna hit open and hit okie dokie. All right, 
So when you get into Substance, it's just like Maya. It has all the hotkeys, uh, same as Maya. So you hit your Alt or Option, and you can spin around with your left, and then Alt or Option with the middle mouse, and then uh, right-click to zoom in and out. All right, I think you can use your middle scroll to, to zoom in and out. But again, uh, Smoothness, uh, Alt, and Right. All right, another cool feature is holding down the Shift and uh, Right. Uh, click and hold and you can kind of pan the the kind of lighting scene around all right so one of the other things before we stop is you just kind of open up a couple of these and you can see uh, all the different uh, textures that we have uh, lined up so I can turn off the bar the drain pipe the dumpster and so forth. All right, so we do want them all back on, but that's why we did uh, these. And these are all on the main shader that we just made, the metallic uh, rusty form. I'm gonna open some others up here. These are our layers. We're just gonna kind of go through them really quickly and then display settings. This is where I wanna just spend a second and show you uh, different uh, types of settings so you can Click. I think default is just nothing, but we want a panoramic, and this will give you some reflective uh, material or reflective environment. So if you had a really shiny object, like a watch or something, uh, you would be able to see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that on, and you can see a little bit of the color kind of echoing onto this. And so if we turn on the environment opacity, you can see it in the the background, and you know hit Alt, and you can see. Uh, this and I think it's quite blurred um, We can turn off the blurring feature and again if you had a watch you would you could see that building reflecting and so forth so if I hit a uh, Shift you can see how that color is uh, Spinning around it's actually lit by this image Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, environment opacity down to zero uh, So you don't have to see it, uh, but you can see the little undertones of kind of like a tan color Kind of hitting it. You can also hit shadows um, and shadow opacity so it's not so dark. Uh, you can go up to intense so it shows it in a really high uh, bandwidth. All right, so that's kind of a cool feature. It is a little taxing. You can hear your uh, motor, not your motor, but your computer really. Uh, trying to calculate that. So again, right click and you can see your, your shadows. You see it uh, kind of flickering, but then when I let go, it goes into that mode. You may want to turn that off uh, for now, uh, but it is good to see, uh, go back and turn that on. Anyways, I'm just showing you where the display settings are. All right, so I'm going to stop here. It's basically just getting your files prepped in Maya, how to export them out as an FBX, how to bring an FBX into Substance Painter, and then Substance Painter, how to go ahead and apply your first texture and how to display your settings. We'll stop there on the next one. I will start showing you how to start texturing with procedural uh, textures, and then we'll really start flying um, with this project. All right, good luck.